On this set of movies, I will show you how you create a four page flyer using InDesign, Photoshop, and a couple other tricks. This is the second page, the, fourth, the third page, and the fourth page. The first thing to do when creating or designing a brochure or creating any document is to sketch it. I have sketched my four pages. Now they're not going to look exactly the same as my sketches, but I get the general idea. For instance, on the first panel, I like to have four different areas. On the next one, I will have to have a picture on the top, some sort of header, and then four columns. On the third page, it would be just one column with one picture on the right-hand side and another picture on the top with a heading. And lastly, I would like to have two big pictures. And in the middle, the words come out and play. So remember, Always sketch your idea before you start jumping into programs like InDesign or Photoshop. Okay, I have my sketch from the picture. Okay, so I have my sketch of what I want to lay out. And I made a reference that there's four different areas. At least that's how I'm going to lay it out. So for that, I'm going to go to InDesign and I'm going to go to File New, Document. And then from the number of pages, I am going to select four because that's how many pages I'm going to have. I also want these pages to face each other because it's going to bound like a little book. So I'm going to click facing pages. These are my dimensions. And I am not going to decide on how many columns I'm going to have. I'm just going to leave it as one column. And my margins, although they're half an inch, I will go ahead and actually go over that and make it bleed. So I am going to go ahead and click more options. And in here, I can go ahead and select the option for bleeding being a quarter of an inch. Okay. And uh, for the margins, I'm going to go ahead and say that they are zero. So that would mean that I would need to print on a page that is bigger than eight and a half by eleven so I can have at least one quarter of an inch one quarter of an inch on the bottom on the side and the outside and the bot and the top. So that would mean that I need to have at least a paper that is eight and a half by half or more inch, which would be really nine inches by eleven and a half. Okay? I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And this is going to generate all four pages, as you can see. And each page will have a boundary. This is the margin, and then this extra little part is the bleeding. If I want things to bleed, I want to go ahead and go over that edge and make sure that there's enough content there so that when the paper is cut, I have my bleeding effect. And remember, bleeding is nothing more than when you cut a paper, you see the edge and there's color bleeding off of it or a picture bleeding off of it. Okay. Okay. This is how you start the document. Now I'm going to go to page number one, which I am already there by clicking the pull down menu here. Or you can also click this button and select page one. Then I'm going to go ahead and use some guides. So it's eight and a half by 11. I'm going to go ahead and click right here. And this will put me right in the center of the page. And it's 11, so five and a half. There you go. So now I have quarter of my page. Now the next part is going to go ahead to make some layers. So I'm going to click here on the layers. And on this, I'm going to label an object later, layer. I am going to label the layers object layer. I am going to label another layer text layer and a third layer that says images. So I'm going to double click and type object. And I'm going to create another layer. I'm, call, I'm going to call this text. And a third layer, which I'm going to call pictures or images. Then I'm going to organize these so that the text layer is always at the top. 
of the image layers and that the object layers is always at the top of the text layers. It's because I'm going to do an effect later on where I'm going to go ahead and put a object on top of all, everything. Okay, now that I have my layers selected, I'm going to go ahead and jump into Photoshop to start creating each panel which I want to ha be a picture. This is going to be a picture, this is going to be a picture, picture, picture. So I'm going to do that work in Photoshop.